Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Taps Volleyball 2019, the 4A state championships here at University High School, Waco, Texas. We appreciate Waco ISD hosting us. It's cold and rainy outside, but it's warming up in here as the action gets ready to start. We have semifinal number one, the Guardians of John Paul II Catholic High School from Schertz and the Eagles of Geneva School of Bernie. We'll be back momentarily as we begin the action here on TAPS TV. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio for today's contest. Again, thank you for joining us here on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio for semifinal state championship tournament. Geneva School of Bernie, Church John Paul II Catholic High School. We appreciate you joining in on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio wherever you are. If you're driving on I-35, be careful. It is wet and it is nasty and it's a hard road to drive. We'll get underway shortly. John Pritchett, the voice of TAPS, will be the gym announcer, and we'll turn it over here momentarily as we begin our services with the invocation, the prayer, the national anthem, and the starting lineups. Thank you again for joining us on TAPS TV. The Guardians will be on the left side of our floor today. John Paul II High School in white. They're coached by Gabrielle Otero in blue. On the right-hand side of the court, out for the game number one, you have the Eagles of Janina School of Bernie, head coach Shelly Vaughn. Thank you again for joining us here on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio for today's 4A semifinal action. Good there, Leah Garcia. Number 12. 
Radio Volleyball 2019. It's a 4A semifinal between the Geneva School of Bunny and John Paul II Catholic High School. Thank you for joining us for today's action. We look forward to an exciting match. Our designated home team, the Geneva School of Bunny Eagles, they'll be in blue playing in the right hand half of the court. While the designated fishing team, the Guardians from John Paul II Catholic High School, they're in white, they're on the left hand side. We appreciate you joining us for the action. It will come shortly here on TAPS TV.
Starting our action today will be server number four, Mia Hayburn. That's Mia Hayburn, number four from John Paul in second. She'll send us into action here in semifinal number one. It's still one, it's one of the best. Here it comes. The referee's ready on the whistle. We'll have our first serve. Ball's in play. Good job on both sides of the net. That is going to be number five with the hit. That's Karen Garrow for Geneva School of Bernie. That time, that's number six, Emily Moon. Number six, Emily Moon, John Paul II. She'll be serving our score 1-1 here early in the action of this semifinal contest. Ball into play, good recovery. Good job by the Guardians to keep it in play. Going far side that time, that was Sarah Hayes. Sarah Hayes wins the point for the Guardian. Back to serve, Emily Moon, number six. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. It's three serving one, Emily Moon, number six, back into action. Good hustle there by the Guardians, but they could not track that one down. That was Karen Garrow. Substitution, that's number one, Alexa Davis entering the court for Geneva, serving number five, Garrow. Good block at the net. Good job that time by the Guardians. Guardians four, Eagles two. Now serving number 11, that's Mara Asadorian. Four serving two, balls in play. All still in play even though it was off the roof. Geneva sets. Looking at number 11, and they found her. That's Lily Langenbaum, number 11 for Geneva. Our libero, number seven, Chloe Higgs with the serve, three serving four. Wins that point. We're all tied at four. Number seven, Chloe Higgs, back into action at the service line. Looking back row, they found Emily Moon, point guardian. It's going to be five serving four. Libero number seven, Alexis Yabara, enters the contest. Yabara with the serve, five serving four. Geneva sets, they've got 11. It's in. That's going to be Langenbaum. Number one, Alexa Davis out. Number six, Catherine Stiles. Catherine Stiles will serve. We're all tied up at five here in game number one. Good hustle by Geneva. They could not keep it into play. Point Guardians. Number five for the Guardians, Sarah Hayes with the serve. Six serving five. Ball in 
the net brings us tied at six. We have number 11. That's number 11 for Geneva. Lily Langenbaum back to serve. All knotted at six here in game number one. Ball played long. There's going to be a point for the Eagles. Seven serving six. 11 Langenbaum still at the service line. Ball finds the net. We're tied at seven. Seven for the Eagles. Seven for the Guardians. Number 10. That's going to be Ella Beck. Ella Beck, number 10, back from the serve. John Paul II sends it in. We're tied at seven. They keep in the play. They're able to get it back over. Excellent job. That's number six. That's Emily Boone coming to the fourth front. Emily Boone puts the Guardians back in front. Eight serving seven. Number 10, Ella Beck with the service. Point Eagles, we're all tied at eight. That was number three, Catherine Lacey with the serve. See if we can get it back up and get it back over. We do. He was able to chase it down. He was able to send it back over the top. Setting number six. And with the hit, that's Emily Moon. We have number four for the Guardians. That's Mia Habern with the serve. Mia Habern is sitting back into play. Guardians nine, Eagles eight, game number one. Ball sails on. We're all tied at nine. Eagles nine, Guardians nine, number four for Geneva. That's Lily Radigan with the serve. Good block at the net. Guardians keep it in play. Nice little touch over. We're setting wide to number five. They've gone through several times. That's Karen Garrow. Karen Garrow with the hit. Eagles 10, Guardians 9. Game number one. Taps Volleyball 2019. Radigan sends the ball into play. That was number three. Apologize, that was number nine. That was Abby Beckwith. Abby Beckwith ties us up at 10. Number six, Emily Moon back to serve. That's gonna be point Guardians. Guardians 11 equals 10. Moon again to serve. That's going to be another point for the Guardians. They stretch their lead out to 12 10. Moon still serving. That's the best, but unable to keep the ball into play. Guardians 13, Eagles 10. Number six, Emily Moon with the service. Moon sends the ball into play. A little miss angle there by the Eagles. Extends the lead, 14 to 10. Guardians 14, Eagles 10. Shirts John Ball leading Geneva School of Bernie. Number six, Emily Moon. Ball in play. Good job that time by number three, Catherine Lacey. Number five, Karen Garrow retrieves the ball. She'll be set to serve, serving 11 to 14.
Eagles continue to look to this left hand side. That was number 11. Langenbaum sending the ball wide. That brings our score. Guardians 15, Eagles 11. That's going to be number 11. That's Mara Asadorian back with the service. Number three re enters. That's going to be Kendall Garza for the Centurions. I'm sorry, for the Guardians. Asadorian puts the ball into play. Touch at the net. Langenbaum able to send the ball deep. That was number nine. That was Abby Beckwith. Abby Beckwith scores the point. We have a timeout. Timeout by Geneva School of Bernie. Our score. Guardians 16, Eagles 11 here in the first game of our Caps 4A semifinal. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13-year-old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing phenomenal. So Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine brings expert pediatric care close to home. And they're sponsoring our trainer here today to keep our athletes on the court safe and sound. As we return to play, it will be 16 7 11 Guardians over the Eagles, number 11. That's going to be Mara Asadorian continues with the service. Have a quick spill cleanup on the far side. We'll be back to action shortly. Good towel action over there by John Paul II, trying to get the floor clean and dry. Geneva School has done a good job of sending from left to right to that exact area. Coach Gabrielle Otero looks confident standing on the sideline. She's ready for her service, and she gets it. Mara Asadorian with the serve. Ball sent long, point for the Eagles. It'll be 12 serving 16. That's gonna be number seven, Chloe Higgs with the serve. Ball sails long, point Eagles. Eagles 13, Guardian 16. That's number seven. That's gonna be Chloe Higgs with the service again. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians step back up, 17-13. We have number seven. That's Libero, Alexis Yabara. She'll have the service when we return to play. Good hustle. Ball kept into play. Both sides have been tracking down the loose balls. That's number 11, Langenbaum, tried for that deep corner. She'll send it back deep. Guardians have the opportunity for the hit. 
That's number five. Number five, Sarah Hayes comes to the forefront. Mara Sadurian sends the ball back into play. That's number five, Karen Garrow. She's been quiet for a moment, but she's back. 14 serving 18, Eagles 14, Guardians 18. That's going to be number six, Catherine Stiles with the service. Point for the Guardians brings us to 19-14. That's number five stepping back to serve, Sarah Hayes. Sarah sends the ball in. Number 11, Langenbaum went for the far corner and it's out. Official's flag went up quickly. That's gonna be Guardians point. Brings our score, Guardians 20, Eagles 14. Game number one, taps for a semifinal number one, Sarah Hayes with the serve. Good job at the net, Eagles able to control. Excellent rally, won by the Eagles for that point. Brings our score, Eagles 15, Guardians 20, game number one. Ball remains in play and finds the ground. That's gonna be a point for the Eagles. Eagles 16, Guardians 20. Back serving is number 11, that's Lily Langenbaum. Langenbaum sends the ball into play. That's gonna be a point for the Guardians. Guardians 21, Eagles 16, number 10. Ella Beck, Ella Beck with a serve. That's gonna be a point for the Guardians. Guardians step out, six up. They're up 22 to 16 over the Eagles. Timeout again by the Eagles trying to stop this rally. In our 1A semifinal up in West Texas, our other championship site, Belleville Faith Academy has taken a one game to nil lead over Legacy Christian. Thank you for joining us here today on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. TAPS is proud to partner with Wilson Sporting Goods as the official ball for TAPS competition. We would like to thank Wilson for providing all the balls used in today's warm-up and games. Thank you, Wilson, for being a proud supporter of the Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools. We come back to play. It's number 10, Ella Beck. She's for the Guardians. She has a 22-16 lead. See if they can close out game number one. That's power coming by Karen Garrow for the Eagles. Wins back the point. Eagles 17, Guardians 22. Looks like we've got number three, Catherine Lacey serving for the Eagles. It's a hard game when the basketball goals come into play, but both teams are working hard. That's a point for the Eagles. They narrow the gap to four. Eagles 18, Guardians 22. Number three, Lacey with the serve. 
Good job that time on the far side. From my vantage point, it was number six, Emily Moon. Guardians 23, Eagles 18. Number four, Mia Hayburn steps back to serve to try to close this one out. Ball makes it over the net, but does not stay in. We're at game point here in game number one. That's Mia Hayburn serving for game number one, up 24 to 18. That's number five, Karen Garrow, back in the action. She brings us a little closer. It's still a five-point deficit. Eagles 19, Guardians 24. We have number four, Lily Radigan. Lily Radigan trying to close the gap. That's going to be game point. Game point. Set number one goes to the Guardians of Sharks, John Paul II, 25 to 19. 25 to 19 at number one. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV. Hi, we're thrilled to be here today with our new partner, Chipotle. Um, and I'm here with Shane, and Shane is representing them here in Texas. And we are thrilled with this new partnership. Tell us a little bit about why Chipotle chose to be a partner with TAPS. Yeah, so Chipotle understands the importance of nutrition. And so Chipotle has essentially started a whole new initiative of Real Food for Real Athletes. And Chipotle understands that um, athletes need to eat a little differently than the regular Joe and so they are bringing proper nutrition and a little bit of education to the sports world. And then tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the schools um, once you've met with the coaches here in the hospitality lounge at volleyball. Um, tell us what your goal is um, in interacting with our coaches and our families. Yeah, so we're working to get into the schools to provide athletes education on um, the proper ways to eat. So we will talk to coaches, um, first get them to understand that um, what we're doing is going to be beneficial for their program, for them, and for their athletes. And so we will then go in, uh, we'll talk to their athletes, we'll give nutrition talks, team talks, um, however that may be, um, and we'll talk to the athletes about macronutrients and the fuel that they put in their body. Now, I understand that you guys are actually giving out trophies as well. Are you a good luck charm? Are you influencing who wins? I don't know if I'm going to influence who wins, but I will sure be a great little token once they do win. Absolutely. And perhaps if they've had um, real food for real athletes, they will win. Thank you, Shane. For those on TAPS TV, the Guardians of John Paul II, they're now still in white, but they're going to be on the right-hand side of your screen. And it's going to be the Eagles from Geneva School of Bernie in blue on the left-hand side. Good luck to both teams as we begin the second game. Coaches are ready, players are ready, officials are almost ready. Our R2 on the far side gives her heads up, thumbs up. We're ready to play game number two. Here at Taps 4A Volleyball, semifinal number one, Geneva School of Bunny, Zart Church John Paul II. Both teams are ready. I want to express our appreciation to Tasso. Tasso, Tech Association Sports Officials, for providing today's officials for this contest. It's a championship crew to go with a championship atmosphere. Thank you again for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. Serving for the Eagles, number four, Lily Radigan, to send us into game number two. Guardians, Guardians jump out to the win. 1-0 lead. 
Looks like it's going to be number four. I apologize, Mia. Mia Hayburn with the serve. Had to adjust the camera angle. Number six, Moon with the hit. Ball sails wide. It's going to be point Guardians. Guardians two. Eagles zero again. Come on, Guardians. I'll get it right this time. It's Mia Haven with the serve. That was number six in the power. Emily Moon, number six from Church John Paul II, bringing the power. Again, we've got Mia Haber, number four, with the serve. That's going to be point Guardians brings us to 4 0. 4 0. Guardians in control. Again, Mia Haber, number four, with the serve. That's going to be a point for the Eagles. Gets them off the mark. Brings our score. Eagles one, Guardians four. It's going to be number five for Geneva. That's Warren Yard. It's going to be Guardians 5, Guardians. Eagles 1 here in game number 2, brings 6. That's Emily Moon back to the service line. With the net, that's Eagles 2, Guardians 5. Our libero, that's going to be number 7, Chloe Higgs. Chloe Higgs to the service line. See if it gets over, it's out. That's going to be a point for the Eagles. Narrows the gap, Eagles three, Guardians five. Gets the ball into the net, brings our score, Guardians six, Eagles three. We've got number 11 stepping back, that's Mara Asadorian. Mara Asadorian with the serve, she's ready. Flag goes up, ball goes long. Guardians six, Eagles three. I'm sorry, Guardians moved to seven. That's number 11, still serving, Asadorian. <laughs> Tip doesn't find the ground, see he's attacking. That was number 10, out of that. Number 11, round of ball. Long ball unable to clear. It's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians eight, Eagles three. Whistle goes, point Guardian. Everybody had a little momentary hesitation to see who's in the net. Guardians nine, Eagles three, number 11, Osadorian with the serve. That's gonna be a point for the Guardians. Brings our score. Church, John Paul the second, Guardians 10. Barney Geneva School, three, as we go to a timeout called by Geneva School of Barney.
that down. We have a score. Bernie Geneva school three. Church John Paul the second ten. Guardians with a 10-3 lead as we come out of the timeout. Thank you for joining us on Taps TV and Taps Radio. Number 11 for Church John Paul. That's going to be Mara Asadorian again. It's been a game of service runs for the Guardians. She puts the ball into play. Ball sails long. Flag went up quickly. No question on that one. Eagles four, Guardians 10. Number six. That's going to be number six entering the contest. Catherine Stiles with the serve. Excellent job of retrieving that ball from behind the tap sign. Went deep with that one. Ball goes up, played well. Played over quickly. Number four, looking for number three. That's a hit. That's Catherine Lacey, number three. Catherine Lacey, number three for the Eagles. up immediately the ball sails long it's going to be guardians 11 eagles five guardians 11 eagles five our service looks to be our libero that looks number seven alexis yabara ball sails long as well great those long shots eagles six guardians 11 eagles serve that's number 11 it's going to be lily langenbaum with the serve but the ball finds the floor for an eagle point. Langenbaum will be serving 7 to 11. Eagles ready. Guardians ready. Moon, good receive. Ball pushed back over. Looks like we're set number five. That's where we started the contest. That's number five, Karen Garo. Karen Garo with a serve. We have a quick timeout by John Paul II. With that timeout, our score, Guardians 11, Eagles 8. Thank you for joining us on Taps TV, and thank you for joining us on Taps Radio. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13-year-old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing... The net unable to control brings our score. Guardians 12, Eagles 8. That's number five, Sarah Hayes. Stepping back to the service line. Number five, Sarah Hayes. That's number five. They're going back to that left-hand side. Number five, Karen Garo. They started the game there. They're going back to her. Number three, this is Catherine Lacey. She's going to step to the service line for us. Ball played high. Bounces around a couple of times. Able to corral. See what the Eagles can do on the attack. That's number five again. And that time blocked at the net and ball falls short. Eagles nine, Guardians 13. We've got number 10 for the Guardians. That's going to be Ella Beck. Ella Beck with the service for the Guardians. That ball goes long. Officials have been quick with the flags. Very defined, very definite. Eagles 10, Guardians 13 here in game number two. That's number four, Lily Radigan. We've made a full turn of service. Ball played up and off. Played back into the Guardian end. Guardians set. Far side, and they found her. That's number six. They've gone to Emily Moon a lot, and they found her that time. Guardians 13, Eagles 10. Well, we call a net violation. I apologize. Eagles 11, Guardians 13. This is number four, Lily Radigan. Lily Radigan sends us into play. 
Gets set to this near side, it's number six, Moon. Ball played up and over. Set for number five, Garrow finds the back, good save. Good job by the Guardians to come across. We're setting for number four. Easy tap back across, that's number 11. Number 11, ball falls in, that's Mara Asadorian. Excellent hit, she found the back corner. Whistle. Called on the net, it's going to be 12 serving 13. They were looking far side for Garo. Number four is able to clear the block. Mia Haven couldn't get past the front line. We're all knotted at 13. Guardians 13, Eagles 13. Guardians look for the tip, quick block, sends it back into their end. Good job of defense on both teams. Set comes for number five, unable to get across. That's number six, Moon with the tip. Ball goes far side to five, Garo, unable to find the ground. Guardians hit number four. Good job by Asadori playing the front row. Excellent rally by both squads. Ball staying high. They've gone heat. That one goes under. See with a whistle. We had a, we had a violation. It's going to be Eagles 14, Guardians 13. Eagles take the lead. They fought back to the lead under the serve of Lily Radigan. Moon shows a little power on that one. See where this ball goes. It's kept into play. They were looking far side. They found Garo. Garo with the shot, with the hit. Point. Bunny Geneva score. 15. Shirts John Paul the second. 13. Lily Radigan, number four, with the serve. We're going back to number five, Garo. Ball sells out of play. Good recovery by the Guardians to keep it in. See where they go this time. Again, sent to the far side. Garo with the strong hit, save. Number four, Asadorian. We're going back to Garo. Ball recovered. It's on the Eagles front side. Here she comes. Garo with the save, with the hit. And it's in on that far sideline. Can't see it from here. Official flag was quick. It's Eagles 16, Guardians 13. Timeout here in the action. At Taps 4A, the big volleyball semifinal. Shirts, John Paul. Thank you again for joining us here. We're at University High in Waco, Texas on a cold, rainy day outside. The action is surely heating up here inside. Lily Radigan on a service run. See if the Guardians can come together after that timeout. Number five, Garo again set. Guardians recover. Push it far side. This time, unable to clear the net. The Radigan service run is broken. It's Guardians 14, Eagles 16. Looks like we have number four, Mia Habern. Mia Habern with the serve. Point, Eagles, Eagles 17, Guardians 14. We have number five, Karen Garo. See what number five Garo can do, Garo can do with the ball. Whistles, blows us into play. 
Miss it, gives the point to the Eagles. Eagles 18. Guardians 14, game number two. Ball sails long, quick flag, gives the point to the Guardians. Guardians 15, Eagles 18. It's going to be number six, Emily Moon. Emily Moon with the serve. Langenbond sends the ball over. Asadorian setting Moon. Moon with the shot. That's a Guardian point. Brings the Guardians deficit to two. Guardians 16, Eagles 18. Moon again with the serve. Back into play, attack mode. Ball sent over. Asadorian setting number nine. Number nine again. This time, ball sails long. See if we got a touch at the net. R1 and R2 confer. Point Eagles. It's reversed. They call the touch at the net. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians 17. Eagles 18. It's a one-point deficit. John Paul II. That's number six. Emily Moon with the serve. Eagles trying to regroup. That's Langenbond on the far side. Good recovery by the Guardians. They're looking for Langenbond again. She hits a good hit, but saved by the Guardians. Guardians set number four. Number four finds the corner. Sorry, that was number five. That was number five. Sarah Hayes finding the court, and it's all tied up. Guardians 18, Eagles 18. Geneva Scola, Barney, and Church, John Paul II. Eagles made a big dig to get out of the hole. Now Geneva is fighting against the serving of Emily Moon. She's on a service run of four straight points. Miss it, gives point to the Eagles. Eagles 19, Guardians 18. Service will be number seven, Chloe Higgs, our libero. It's been a tight match both games. We're all tied up. It's its number 11, Mara Asadorian. Asadorian with the serve. That's number 11, Lungenbaum with the hit. We're out wide to number five. That's Geneva's number three, Catherine Lacey. Catherine Lacey ties this game. We're 19 apiece. Eagles and Guardians. Number six to the service line. That's Catherine Styles. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. We're tied at 20. Eagles 20, Guardians 20, number seven, Lavero Alexis Yabara. Net serve, Eagles 21, Guardians 20, number 11, that's going to be Lily Langenbaum. Langenbaum back for the service. found the net. It's 22 for the Eagles. 20 for the Guardians. Lily Langenbaum with the serve. Looking for number five, Garrow. Good receive. Number five, she finds the near corner. That's Sarah Hayes. She's been living on the near corner, and she found it that time. Brings our score. Guardians 21, Eagles 22, and Hayes now steps back to serve. Number five, Sarah Hayes. 
See what Garrow can do. Garrow comes straight back to the back line. Eagles 23, Guardians 21. 23-21, that's gonna be number three, Catherine Lacey. She'll try to serve with a completion. See what she can do to get us to game point. Good receive by the Guardians. Ball pushed back across. Garrow, it finds the ground, 24-21. It's game point for the Eagles. Number three, Catherine Lacey with the serve. Trying to close it out, not as at one game apiece. Ball goes deep, good receive that time by the Guardians. That's number six. They were looking for Moon and they found her. Moon brings it to 22 for the Guardians, 24 for the Eagles. We have number 10, Ella Beck. Ella Beck for the Guardians to keep him in the game. Good deep serve. Ball set wide, it's Garrow. Garrow with the good hit, goes across. Serve, receive, hit. Flags go up. Immediately, ball went wide. Quick on the call with the official from Tasso. It is 23, serving 24, trying to stay in the match. Number 10, Ella Beck. Eagles definitely looking to serve it out and tie it up. That's Darrow, ball start at the net. The Guardian point ties us at 24 apiece. 24 apiece. Ella Beck, number 10, with the service. It's a good serve, excellent opportunity there. Both players digging hard. Whistle blows, point Eagles. Eagles 25, Guardians 24. We're sending Lily Radigan to the service line to try to close it out. Radigan sends the ball in deep, said by Asadori, and we're coming close to Moon. Moon's ball sails long. Second set, 26 for the Eagles, 24 for the Guardians. We're all knotted at one here at Tats Volleyball 4A semifinal number one. Shirts, John Paul II, Guardians, one game. Geneva Scolabarni, game number one. Two very close games. We're set for the third set here momentarily. Thank you for joining us on Taps TV and Taps Radio, live from University High in Waco, Texas. Hi, we're thrilled to be here today with our new partner, Chipotle. Um, and I'm here with Shane, and Shane is representing them here in Texas. And we're thrilled with this new partnership. Tell us a little bit about why Chipotle chose to be a partner with TAPS. Yeah, so Chipotle understands the importance of nutrition. And so Chipotle has essentially started a whole new initiative of Real Food for Real Athletes. And Chipotle understands that um, athletes need to eat a little differently than the regular Joe and so they are bringing proper nutrition and a little bit of education to the sports world. And then tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the schools um, once you've met with the coaches here in the hospitality lounge at volleyball. Um, tell us what your goal is um, in interacting with our coaches and our families. Yeah, so we're working to get into the schools to provide athletes education on um, the proper ways to eat. So we will talk to coaches, um, first get them to understand that um, what we're doing is going to be beneficial for their program, for them, and for their athletes. And so we will then go in, uh, we'll talk to their athletes, we'll give nutrition talks, team talks, um, however that may be, um, and we'll talk to the athletes about macronutrients and the fuel that they put in their body. Now I understand that you guys are actually giving out trophies as well. Are you a good luck charm? Are you influencing who wins? I don't know if I'm going to influence who wins, but I will sure be a great little token once they do win. Absolutely. And perhaps if they've had um, real food for real athletes, they will win. Thank you, Shane. Trailing Legacy Christian Academy 10-2 in the third. So they've got a heated match up in West, just like we do here. We've got a minute remaining in the set break. We'll be back momentarily to the action here on TAPS TV.
as we reset the court. The Guardians in white. Church John Paul II High School, they're on your left. The Eagles from Geneva School of Bernie, they're in Navy and they're on your right. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio for the first semifinal of the day. TAPS 4A State Volleyball Championships live from Waco, Texas. That's going to be number 10. That's going to be Ella Beck. Ella Beck with the first service. Guardians have regrouped. Beck sends us into play. Net serve. Eagles won. Guardians nil. Looks like number four. That was number four. Lily Radigan with the serve for the Eagles. Ball sails wide. A good hustle by the Eagles. Able to clear the net. They set number six. That's Moon. Moon with the hit. Moon with the point. It's all tied up. 1-1. One, one. Guardians and Eagles. Moon has been a force on the front row and the back row. She's played hard both ways. Number nine. That's number nine, Abby Beckwith, entering the front row for the Guardians. Number four sends the ball into play. Mia Habern. Good save. Number five for Geneva. Couldn't find over the net. They tried to set Darrell here at the narrow side. Guardians two. Eagles one. Number four returns to serve. That's Mia Habern. point brings our score guardians three eagles one number four she's on another run that's mia habern Serving down 2-3 here in game number three. Set number three, ball goes over. See where the Chiefs are set. They're setting right in the middle. They set number nine. That was Avery Myrie. Avery Myrie making her present stop. Four for the Eagles, two for the Guardians here in set number three. Ball sent in to play by Moon. Guardians four, Eagles two. Guardians five, Eagles two. It's going to be number six, Moon, with the serve. Moon's played well in all facets of the game today. That's number seven, I'm sorry, number 11, Langenbaum with the hit. They go far side with the set. That was number five, Sarah Hayes, Langenbaum. Shot sails long, play goes up. Guardian six, Eagles two. Give a quick shout out to Children's Self Andrews Institute. Ball goes in their sign. Moon sends the ball in play on the near side. It was touched before it went out. It's going to be Guardian 7, Eagles 2. We have a timeout on the court. Timeout taken by Geneva School of Bernie. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. Our score, 7-2 here in third. Both the first two games were tight. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13-year-old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing phenomenal. Eagles away to serve from Moon. Number six, that's Emily Moon. 
She's played well on the front row. She's played well on the back row. She'll send us into play. Ball goes up and over. Unable to foul. That was number three, Catherine Lacey. Unable to get the ball back in the air. Point for the Guardians. Guardians eight, Eagles two. Moon continues her service. That time she found the net. Might have been one of the few things today that's found the net for her. Great job by Moon. Eagles trailing three to eight here. We've got number seven. We've got our Chloe Higgs back with our libero. Ball kept into play. Hit by number 11. That's Langenbaum. Number five, Sarah Hayes. Five again with the touch. That's number three for Geneva with the hit, Catherine Lacey. Ball kept into play by the Eagles. Langenbaum sends the ball deep. Good job on the defensive side. Langenbaum goes down, keeps the ball in the air. There's number three with the touch, but unable to find the ground. That was Catherine Lacey. That time they got the hit. Good job that time by the Guardians. Guardians second nine three lead. Guardians nine. Third strong ball to second. Eagles three. Geneva score to Bernie. Number 11. Number 11. Mara Asadorian back with the serve. Yeah. Eagles rally back to that point. Good job by the Eagles to bring it up four, serving nine. We're going to have number six. Number six is Catherine Stiles with the serve. Able to keep the ball in play. This is Langenbaum. Lily Langenbaum sent the ball wide. Good job that time by number three, Catherine Lacey. Catherine three, Lacey number three, straight up. She wins the point. Eagles five, Guardians nine. Game number three. Serve is coming. That's number six with the serve. Good job by Styles. That's going to be a point for the Eagles on the ball. Eagles six, Guardians nine. Eagles got behind in game number two. See how they fare here as they're making their comeback. Six serving nine. As the door sets to the far side, number nine looked for the tip, but it was blocked. Ball blown to the net. Good job trying by Ella Beck, but could not complete the pass. Guardians nine, Eagles seven, seven serving nine. It's number six, Styles. Styles send the ball deep to the left-hand side. Moon sends the ball across. Good recovery. This time we're setting Langenbaum. Langenbaum with the hit. Good defense by the Guardians. Guardians go all the way across to number five, Sarah Hayes. That violation is called. That's going to give the point to the Guardians. Guardians 10, Eagles 2. This is our libero, Alexis Yavara. Alexis Yavara with the serve. Number three went for the shot, unable to complete. Sarah Hayes, number five for the Guardians. Good job that time by Langenbaum. Number three blocked at the net for the Eagles. They come back to Langenbaum. She comes to the near side. As the door in set, Moon. Moon with the hit. Good defense that time. Langenbaum unable to clear the block. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians 11, Eagles 7. Number seven, Alexis Yabara with the serve. With the lead, 11 to 7. Serve goes long. Good flag. Fish has been all over the lines today. Eight serving 11. Eight for the Eagles. 11 for the Guardians. That's number 11. That's Lily Langenbaum with the serve. Five to the quick touch. Whistle blows quickly, that violation. It's gonna be nine, serving 11. Nine for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Number 11, Lily Langenbaum, again with the serve. Good recovery, unable to get it back over the net. 
Good hustle by the Guardians to get there twice, unable to clear the net. Eagles claw back to a 10 to 11 deficit. Number 11, Willie Langenbaum with the serve. Ball just clipped the net, causing it to drop short. Willie Langenbaum has tied our score, 11 all. Eagles 11, Guardians 11. Off the block, point, Guardians, Guardians 12, Eagles 11, number five, Sarah Hayes, number five, Sarah Hayes, back to serve for the Guardians. It's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians 13, Eagles 11. Sarah Hayes continues her service. Ball sent into play by Sarah Hayes. They're looking for Garrow. Garrow comes back and finds Asadori. And good job that time by the Guardians. Ball played up and over by number 10. Ella Beck unable to keep it in play. Eagles. That's number three serving. That's Catherine Lacey brings us back into action. 13 to 12 Guardian lead. The barrel setting Moon. Moon into the net. Good swing, good hit. I'm having to clear. We're tied at 13. Eagles 13, Guardians 13. That's number three, Catherine Lacey with the serve. Again, violation of the net brings the point to the Eagles. Eagles with the lead, 14-13. That's going to be Catherine Lacey serving. That's a point for the Eagles. Eagles 15, Guardians 13. Timeout Guardians here from Waco University High School, Waco, Texas. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. Buzzer goes off. Officials with the signal. Eagles 15, Guardians 13. That's number three. That's going to be Catherine Lacey serving us into play. Ball played back over by the Guardians. Eagles setting five. Garrow. She clears the block. Ball sailed out of bounds. There was a little discussion on whether there was a touch at the net, but there was not. Point Guardians. Guardians 14. It was 15. That's going to be number 10, Ella Beck. Ella Beck with the serve. Number five, Garrow looking deep. Good job by the Guardians. That's number four. Number four was Mia Haber. Point goes to the Eagles. Eagles 16, Guardians 14, Eagles serve. That was number four, Lily Radigan. That was the man to serve his rotation. Point Guardians, Guardians 15, Eagles 16. Number three, that's going to be Kendall Garza. Kendall Garza with the serve. Number five, Garrow goes deep. Good recovery by the Guardians. Guardians play it up again, looking for Garrow. Clears the block. 
Number nine, we have a deep set. Number three plays it back over. Catherine Lacey kept in play. Asadorian looking for Moon. She finds her through the block. Darrow setting to the far side. That is a good yeah. tip by number nine. That was Avery Myrick. Avery Myrick with the tip. Marsha point for the Eagles. Eagles lead 17-15. Now serving number five. This is going to be Cowering Garrow. Garrow with the ball in play. Number 11, Asadorian looks deep to number five, Hayes. Hayes able to clear the net and on the touch. Guardian point. Guardian 16. Eagles 17. We have number six returning to the service line. Moon's been all over the court today. Good serve here to the near side. Ball goes up. That was a deep hit that time by number five, Garrow. Moon returns the favor. Set near. Action at the net. Ball falls close on the Guardian side. Point Eagles. Eagles 18, Guardian 16. That's number seven. Alexis, I'm sorry, that's number seven. Chloe Higgs. Apologize, Chloe. Chloe does a great serve to the deep end. Looking to set Sarah Hayes on the far side. Good recovery by Langenbaum. Asadori now serves with sets number nine. That was a good hit by Beckwith. Here comes number three with the attack. They're hitting and hitting. Both sides going after each other. Again, number three, Beckwith. Good job by Catherine Lacey. Ella Beck couldn't get down deep enough. Number seven, Chloe Higgs with the serve. Ball clears the net. Ball back on Guardian's side. Eagles 20, Guardian 16. Timeout Guardians. The Eagles have fought to a 20 to 16 lead. Geneva School of Bernie 20. Church, John Paul II High School, 16. Here in semifinal number one of the TAPS 4A State Volleyball Championship. Thank you for joining us on TAPS. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13-year-old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing phenomenal. The whistle sends us back into action. Chloe Higgs with the serve. Ball hits the obstruction, takes a wicked advance for the Guardians. Guardians unable to control, brings our score. Eagles 21, Guardians 16, now the timeout. Number seven, that's Chloe Higgs. Quick to step back, that was a good call that time by number three, Kendall Garza, letting the ball find the paint. 21-17, Eagles with the lead. This is number 11. This is gonna be Mara Asagorian with the serve. That's number three, number three, Catherine Lacey. Catherine Lacey wins the point. Shirts John Paul II fighting back from a 17-22 hole. It'll be number six serving for the Eagles. That's Catherine Stiles. Catherine Stiles serving for the Eagles. That was number nine with the kill, Abby Beckwith. Abby Beckwith, number nine with the hit. 18 for the Guardians, 22 for the Eagles. Abby Moon with the serve. I was, I was thinking they needed to correct that, and they did. They send Beckwith back to serve. Beckwith with the serve. Abby sends us into play. That's number three. Catherine Lacey unable to clear the block. 19 for the Guardians, 22 for the Eagles. Beckwith with the serve. Beckwith found the back row and she found the back line. That was it. Quick flag by our official signals in for the Guardian point. 
Guardians 20, Eagles 22. Abby Beckwith with the serve. Good job that time by Garrow. Langenbaum with the tip. The rush sends the ball deep. Number five setting Langenbaum. Langenbaum with the hit. Block founder. Again, we set Langenbaum. The play soon. Block and able to keep it in play. Point to the Eagles. Eagles 23, Guardians 20. Langenbaum made the hit. Langenbaum steps back to serve. Langenbaum sends the ball deep and sends the ball out. Eagles with a 23-21 lead. We've got number five, Sarah Hayes. Sarah Hayes for the Guardians with the serve. This time they said Garrow. Garrow goes deep, return. Ball's tipped back across. Good job by the Guardian defense. They're setting number four on the far side. That was Mia Hayburn. Ball set for Garrow. Garrow goes deep. Good job that time by number seven, Alexis Yabara, digging it out. Ball sent wide. Good hit by the Guardians. Brings us Guardians 22, Eagles 23. Sarah Hayes returns to serve. Number five, Sarah Hayes for the Church John Paul II Guardians. This handle ties us at 23, 23 apiece as we go to timeout here at University High School. The crowd's excited. We're excited. Thank you again for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. Buzzer blows, the teams are set, the officials are set. Sarah Hayes, she's ready, 23 all. That's Garrow, hits right into the block. Garrow again, this time touches over. Guardians able to play through. That's number three, Catherine Lacey. Catherine Lacey with the tip. Catherine Lacey steps back to serve. The Eagles 24, Guardians 23. This is set point, Lacey to serve. Coach Otero rallying her troops. Here we go with Moon. Moon tips across. Number four setting on this near side to Garrow. Garrow hits in on the near corner. That's the ball game. It's set number three, 25, 23 by the Eagles. 25-23. They take a two set to one lead. We split sets. We're moving forward. Taps volleyball for a semifinal action. Shirts John Paul the second. Guardians one set. The Geneva School of Bernie Eagles two sets here from Waco, Texas. Thank you for joining us on Taps TV and Taps Radio. Hi, we're thrilled to be here today with our new partner, Chipotle. Um, and I'm here with Shane, and Shane is representing them here in Texas. And we're thrilled with this new partnership. Tell us a little bit about why Chipotle chose to be a partner with TAPS. Yeah, so Chipotle understands the importance of nutrition. And so Chipotle has essentially started a whole new initiative of Real Food for Real Athletes. And Chipotle understands that um, athletes need to eat a little differently than the regular Joe and so they are bringing proper nutrition and a little bit of education to the sports world. And then tell us a little bit about what you're doing with the schools um, once you've met with the coaches here in the hospitality lounge at volleyball. Um, tell us what your goal is um, in interacting with our coaches and our families. Yeah, so we're working to get into the schools to provide athletes education on um, the proper ways to eat. So we will talk to coaches, um, first get them to understand that um, what we're doing is going to be beneficial for their program, for them, and for their athletes. And so we will then go in, uh, we'll talk to their athletes, we'll give nutrition talks, team talks, um, however that may be, um, and we'll talk to the athletes about macronutrients and the fuel that they put in their body. 
Now, I understand that you guys are actually giving out trophies as well. Are you a good luck charm? Are you influencing who wins? I don't know if I'm going to influence who wins, but I will sure be a great little token once they do win. Absolutely. And perhaps if they've had um, real food for real athletes, they will win. Thank you, Shane. Championships today. We want to thank Tasso for providing our officials. And we want to thank University High School for hosting our competition. Wilson partners with Taps as the official ball for all competitions. The K-1 is introduced this year. Thank you for joining us on Taps TV and Taps Radio. Both student sections are into the actions. They're enjoying it. They're getting after it. They're trying to rally their squads. Eagles two games. Guardians one as we move forward for this semifinal action. Game number four, one minute away. Sounds the officials are ready, the teams are ready, the barrels have entered the contest. Here we go, set number four. We've got number four, Lily Radigan. Lily Radigan from Geneva School of Bernie. She'll begin play with the first service of this game. On the whistle, we're in play. Is number six, Moon, blocked at the net. Moon tips this time. That's Gero. They said number four for Geneva. Number four was Mia Habern. Touch comes back across. This time they're gonna set Moon right. I'm sorry, they set Moon right in the middle. Ball kept into play by Schertz. Ball sails long on the hand of Moon. That's gonna be our first point of this game. Game number four starts off 1-0 for the Eagles. Number four, Lily Radigan with the serve. We're going wide to Garo. Has a good job by Sarah Hayes. Number four with the hit, that was Mia Haven. Number nine for Geneva. Avery Myrick couldn't find the cord. Ball goes long. Boom, finds the back line. We're all knotted at one, one apiece. Eagles and Guardians. There's going to be number four, Mia Habern with the serve. Mia Habern serving for St. John Paul II High School out of shirts. Coach Otero marks the ball. Service to the deep line, and it's in. She went deep mid and found the four. That's the Guardians two and the Eagles one. Habern again with the serve. Good job on the block that time by the Guardians. Earns the point. Guardians three, Eagles one. Guardians three, Eagles one. Game number four. Both teams are attacking that back line. That ball sailed long. Brings us to three to two. Eagles two, Guardians three. We've got number five. Number five is Karin Garrow. Garrow with the serve. Whistle quickly. Call a net violation or a rotation violation. Not sure what. Official explaining it to the Geneva coach. Shelly Vaughn asked the question. She's not through with the discussion. R2 will go back and check with the table. As it stands right now, it's going to be Guardians 4, Guardians leading 4-2. Call stands, call stands, point Guardians. Guardians leading 4-2. This number is going to be number six. Emily Moon with the serve. 
Again, tacking that deep baseline. Catherine Lacey unable to corral that one. It's going to be Guardians 5, Eagles 2. Guardians 5, Eagles 2 here at the semifinal. St. John Paul II, Shirts High School. And then we have the Geneva School of Bernie. Moon sends the ball into play. They're looking for number 11, Langenbond. Langenbond able to hit deep. This time, a little confusion by the Guardians, but good job by Ella Beck of sending it over. Number 11, Langenbaum, back to Beck. Ball clears the net, touches at the net on both sides, whistle blows. Point, Guardians, Guardians six, Eagles two. Moon continues her serve. Coach Otero makes her signal, ball goes short. Sails wide out of bounds. Flag immediately went up. Point for the Eagles. Eagles three, Guardian six. That's going to be number seven, Chloe Higgs with the serve. Chloe Higgs. Unable to clear the net. Net serve. Guardian seven, Eagles three. That's going to send number 11. That's going to send Mara Asadorian. Mara Asadorian back. She and Coach Otero were on the same page. They went deep to the near side. That was number three with the attack. Catherine Lacey's ball sails wide. Point to the Guardians. Guardians eight, Eagles three. Mara Asadorian with the serve. Ball's kept into play. Sent back deep. See where Asadorian serves. She sets number nine. Number nine finds the court. That's Abby Beckwith. Number nine, Abby Beckwith. We have a timeout on the court. Timeout by strip by the Eagles of Geneva. Geneva School of Bernie three. The Guardians of St. Church, John Paul II, nine. Thank you for joining us here on TAPS TV. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13 year old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing phenomenal. He and Coach Otero are on the same page. The Eagles, they've had their pep talk. They're coming back. Guardians 9, Eagles 3. Good job, ball stays live. Unable to track it down. Excellent hustle by Lily Radigan. But the point goes to the Guardians. Guardians 10. Guardians 10, Eagles 3. Service right to the middle. That time we get number three. Number three makes our presence known. That's Catherine Lacey. Lacey's done a good job from the middle. That's going to bring number six for Geneva. That's Catherine Stiles. Hayes sets number nine Beckwith. Beckwith looked to go deep, unable to find the floor. They go to Langenbaum. Langenbaum sends the ball over. Again back, that's going to be a point for the Eagles. The Eagles fight back. Eagles five, Guardians ten. Seven, Guardians 10. Point. 
11-7 Guardians. 11-7 for the Guardians. Number seven, that's Alexis Yabara coming in to serve. That's going to be number 11, Langenbaum with the serve, Moon with the receive. Number five, Sarah Hayes sails the ball wide. Flag went up immediately. No touch of the net. It's going to be Eagles nine, Guardians 11. That's number four with the hit. That's number four, Mia Hayburn. They drive wide to Garrow. Garrow received by Moon. Moon keeps it in play. We're coming back to number five. Number five is Sarah Hayes. Unable to clear the block. The Eagles claw a little bit closer. It's 10 for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Langenbaum with the serve. This is going to be number 11, Lily Langenbaum. Langenbaum with the serve. She goes deep to the near side. Good job that time. That was number three, Catherine Lacey. Catherine Lacey with the hit. Catherine Lacey ties our score at 11. 11 for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Guardians timeout. Thank you for joining us on Taps Radio and Taps TV here at Volleyball 2019. Coming back out of the timeout, we've got 25 seconds remaining. The Guardians of Church John Paul II Catholic High School on the court. Here come the Eagles, Geneva School of Bernie. Both schools ready to go. Our score 11-11. Lily Langenbaum, number 11 for the Eagles, will serve. <laughs> Good return that time by number four, Hayburn. Hayburn finds Hayes on the far side. They go to Garrow. Garrow hits, finds her attacker. It's 12 for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Eagles take a 12-11 lead in this tightly contested game. It's number 11, Lily Langenbaum, back to serve. That's number four, Habern with the attack. Number five, Garrow. Garrow goes far side, deep. Point, point, 13 for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Geneva Scolaberni with a two-point lead in this closely contested match. Langenbaum, Lily Langenbaum with the serve. A little confusion on the defense that time. Unable to decide who's gonna take the ball. The Eagles stretch their lead to three. 14 for Geneva School of Bernie. 11 for John Paul II Catholic High School out of Shirts. Langenbaum finds the net and crawls over, finds the floor. It's a four point lead for the Eagles. Eagles 15, Guardians 11. Langenbaum continues her service run. She goes near side and deep, Moon with the receive. This time they look for Sarah Hayes, block at the net. Number 10, that was Alela Beck. Now they're looking for Garrow, but they find number three. Little attack by the ball, I'm sure hands here from the old man. It's 16 for the Eagles, 11 for the Guardians. Langenbaum continues with her service. Langenbaum goes far side middle. 
Moon sends the ball deep, flag up immediately. Officials done a great job of making the calls quick and decisively. We have another timeout by the Guardians. Guardians now down by six, trailing 11 to 17. Geneva School of Bernie, 17 with a 2-1 set lead as we get ready to go to commercial here at Taps Volleyball 2019. Aiden loves playing baseball. He's in his element when he picks up a baseball bat. When Aiden tore his ACL last year, we were all devastated. We didn't think that a 13-year-old could have a problem such as that. Children's Health Andrews Institute for Orthopedic and Sports Medicine not only repaired Aiden's ACL, but they gave him the knowledge and skills to prevent any future injuries. Now, less than a year later, he's back to hitting homers and doing phenomenal. Set for the final conclusion of this game. Geneva School of Bernie with a six point lead, 17 to 11. Langenbaum continues her service. Moon with the receipt. She sets Alcidorian. They have Sarah Hayes. She hit into the block. It's 18 for the Eagles. It's 11 for the Guardians. Langenbaum again with service. This time goes deep middle. Good job that time by number seven, Alexis Yabara. Yabara set Moon, but unable to clear. Garrow on the far side. Good block at the net. Unfortunately, it stayed on their side at number four. Mia Haven couldn't reach it. Geneva School of Bernie with a 19 to 11 lead over Shirts, John Paul II Catholic High School. Net serve that time by Lonnie Baum. She'd made several serves in a row to the right place, finally found the wrong place. She gives the service control over to Church John Paul II Catholic High School, down 12 to 19. They'll need a run. Sarah Hayes sends us to play. Garrow's receive goes wide. It's called out by the officials. That's a point for the Guardians. Guardians 13, Eagles 19. Again, Sarah Hayes, number five, with the serve. Moon with the tip. We're going to Garrow on the far side. Garrow with the hit, Garrow with the point. Brings our score, Eagles 20, Guardians 13. Number three, stepping back to serve will be Catherine Lacey. Lacey sends the ball in. Hayes, they have a set to this side for Moon. Violation called on the whistle. 21 for the Eagles, 13 for the Guardians. We're coming near side to Moon. Moon goes far side with the hit. Crossed him up. Garrow. Garrow's ball called in. It's going to be a point for the Eagles. Eagles 22. Church John Paul the second. They're 13. Number 13. I'm sorry, it's number three, Catherine Lacey. She went deep to the near side. There's Moon. Moon's powerful hit. On the whistle. That point goes the Guardians' way. Guardians 14, Eagles 22. Number 10, Ella Beck looks to get hot. Excellent job going deep to this near side. That's a point for the Guardians. 15 for the Guardians, 12 for the Eagles. Number 10, Ella Beck waiting on the ball for the serve. That's Garrow, ball comes back. We set Garrow again, she fights through the block. Good job by Hayes. Hayes looking to set Moon, Moon in the middle. Block is effective. That's number nine. Sends the ball over, Moon resets. Number three just sends the ball back over, Kendall Garza. Number four sets Garrow. Garrow to Hayes, Hayes able to control. Unfortunately, the ball doesn't clear the net. We go to 23 for the Eagles and 15 for the Guardians. 
Geneva School of Bernie, 23. Church, John Paul II High School, 15. Number four, Lily Radigan. Lily Radigan serves sales long. Point to the Guardians. Guardians 16, Eagles 23. Church, John Paul II High School sends number three, Kendall Garza, to the service line. Garza look deep. They find Garrow. Garrow sends the ball deep. That's going to be a point for the Guardians. Guardians still have a lot of fight left in them. They're down 23 to 17. But number three, Kendall Garza looks to serve them back even. Garrow with the hit to the middle and a block. Guardians are looking for a whistle. R1 and R2 confirm. It's the point, it's the set, and the match point. Number five, Karen Garrow's been everywhere today. She'll serve for match point, 24-17. Ball's up, finds the net, it won't happen this time. 24-18, Guardians have life, Moon serving. Moon brings the ball. Service in play. Number four sets number 11. That's Langenbaum. Her start sails wide. Langenbaum and Garrow will both look to end it. Both shots have gone long. Moon serving down 19 to 24. It's still set point, match point. Fighting out of the hole. Moon sends the ball deep to the far side. Ball played straight up. They're looking for Garrow from the back row. Garrow shot again goes long. A little general trying to end it. Guardians have clawed back to a 20 to 24 deficit. Four point deficit. Moon with the serve. Coach Otero sends her deep into the middle. Geneva able to control. We're going to set number nine Beckwith. Beckwith, excellent shot deep to the middle. It's 21 for the Guardians, 24 for the Eagles. Eagles take a quick timeout to try to stop this run. Eagles will still have set point when we return, but it'll be Guardians and Sarah, I'm sorry, Emily Moon with the serve when we return. Student exceptions are excited. Emily Moon trying to stave off elimination with her serve. Ball is set to Langenbaum. Langenbaum. Shot goes up. Controlled. Good job by Moon to keep that ball in play. This time we're going number nine back with the block at the net goes out. That concludes our contest at 24-21. 25-21. Fourth set victory for Geneva School of Learning. Stay with us here on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio as we'll have our medal ceremony for our final four. Congratulations to Geneva School of Learning for moving on to tomorrow's championship. And congratulations to Shirts John Paul II Catholic High School on their excellent run and excellent season, which saw them with their final four berth here this morning. Robert Huckabee of the TAP staff will now present Coach Otero their awards for earning their victory here today. A well-fought close match. Both schools played it well. Both schools were not willing to give up in any way, shape, or form. Proud of each of them as they've come forward. Thank you again for joining us here today on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. <laughs> Our Chipotle representative will be out to provide the medals as we award Church John Paul II Catholic High School for their final four berth here today. Coach Gabrielle Otero will come out to present her awards to her team.
as we fight through the audios here in the gymnasium. Number one, Madison Mogura. She's a freshman. Number three, Kendall Garza. Number four, Mia Habern. Number five, Sarah Hayes. Number six, Emily Moon. Number seven, Alexis Yabara, our libero. Number eight, Mia Garcia. Number nine, Abby Beckwith. Number 10, Ella Beck. Number 11, Mara Asadorian. Number 12, Grace Ayala. Number 14, Shala Harris Martinez. Number 15, Bia Gina Russo. It's a team with no seniors. We're proud for Coach Gabrielle Otero and her team. Hopefully they'll make a return next year to the Final Four. Congratulations on an excellent season, ladies. And moving on to tomorrow's championship game at 10 o'clock, the Geneva School of Bernie Eagles. Thank you for joining us on TAPS TV and TAPS Radio. We're go 